So some competitive Valorant player posted a tweet a few weeks ago saying that teabagging is a form of sexual harassment and is equivalent to real world sexual harassment. This tweet is the worst reason to ban teabagging in tournaments, but some tournaments have issued a ban teabagging, which sucks, it fucking sucks. And it's a slap in the face for people who have experienced sexual assault before. So in case you've been living inside a rock, under a rock, that's the, that's what I'm talking about, whatever. Teabagging is when, in a video game, you go to a dead body and crouch up and down a couple times. That's it. Because crouching, apparently, is now sexual assault. <sighs> you have to be an idiotic lunatic who's always thought the characters in video games were real people and think that happened to them actually happened to them. I, I do kind of sound stupid there, I, I get that, but you get the point. So... After the tweet, an Apex Legends tournament happened, which Apex Legends is a battle royale hero shooter and a host of the tournament, decided to watch a good player at, by teabagging his own teammate. They both thought it was funny. No harm was done, and what do you know, they got banned for it. I think it was for, like, for harassment and toxic behavior, which, if that's the case, uh, what? <laughs> This is supposed to be a safe space for gamers, that's what the guy says. Yeah, right. Ban players for teabagging in a tournament. Yeah, that helps. Very safe space. Nice. And then two Valorant players commented on the tweet that talked about teabagging being sexual harassment. They said things like, if teabagging is sexual assault, and I guess I'm a repeated sex offender, which it, to be honest, that, that tweet is very funny. Yeah, that's a golden tweet right there. And they both got banned for it. Yeah, there were two Valorant players. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much the full thing about it. It's pretty stupid, but I don't know. I've never played Valorant. I've never seen Valorant before till recently. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I've been living under a rock for Valorant. Also, I'd like to point out that Riot Games not only banned them, but also just stated their full names, pretty much docked them without permission. Or without, well, you don't know, need permission to do uh, My brain broke there. <laughs> but it had somewhat of an immediate effect on them in the real world, so that sucks. Riot Games also had, or was the creator of Valorant League of Legends, both games I don't give two shits about. And other games. Those are the main popular ones. Riot Games also has kind of something going on in a lawsuit or something that they just settled recently. I don't know. Was it about like, <laughs> like farting in other workers' faces? I think that was it. I don't know. I don't. I just don't know, and I don't care to look it up. The situation is just fucking stupid, and that's all I have about saying on it. I've never played Valorant before. If so, I would play the Valorant gameplay, but never booted up Valorant in my life. It's probably on Steam for free. But, uh, yeah. That's all I have for you. See you guys next time. Peace.